in this video we will talk about another powerful concept from strings and the concept is how will you find out whether a particular part of a string or an string exist inside one another string for example i'm having this hello world over here i want to check whether world exist in this particular string or not how to do that there are two ways to find out this concept in c sharp programming language first is index op method let's learn about that so here i'm declaring one variable which is a string let's say full name and here i will write a new proper string which is my full name is nitish kosik basically i'm having one random long string over here this concept is also applicable if you are having a database and you want to apply some search operation over there for example if you are having this kind of thing and you want to check whether the nitish exist in any one of them or not so to check that value you can use let's say here i'm typing this where result is equals to here i can write this full name dot index of method and this index of method i can pass multiple things first let's say what is there inside this index of so i can right click on this one and choose this go to definition and let's collapse all of them so here you can see we are having this index of index of there are multiple overloaded version first thing is that we can pass some character value as well over here and we can also pass the string value over here we can pass the start index for example i do not want to start the search from zero index i want to start it from a specific index then i can pass this start index as well so let's try all these things one by one here let's say first i'm passing this i character and here in this console right line i will display what is the value of this result let's say what is the type of this result the type is this integer if i right click again and choose this code definition you can notice the return type is this integer for all the index of methods right so here i can type the int value directly and let's see what is the output the output is 13 so 13 is basically the index so as per this method this i exists after 13th index so if i will count all of them 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 th so this i exists after 13th index if something does not exist over there then we will simply get none so for example i want to find out the index of this z run this application you can notice it is minus 1 because this z does not exist in this string and if something does not exist then the output is going to be minus 1 just like we are passing characters we can also pass an string over here for example here i'm passing this is which is is and it exists at this particular place let's run this application it exists at this 13th place so that is true if there is something for example here i'm passing this nn we are getting minus 1 because this proper text does not exist in this string what if i want to find out my name over there so this is this let's click on this search button and you can see we are getting 16 character okay what if i'm having a different case over here let's save run and you will see we are getting minus 1 so how is this working basically we are trying to find out this text but this n is in lower case over here and here in this actual string it is in the upper case and there is not a match of both of them that is why we are getting this output over here to solve this problem we can pass some string comparison over here so in the second parameter we can pass this string comparison dot invariant culture ignore case right let's try this value this time this time you can see we are getting the output at the 16 index it means if i want to ignore the casing of the characters then i can pass this thing in the second parameter and this is something that i always prefer to use there is one more way to test this type of scenario for example here i'm having this int a a is equals to let's just paste it and this is what i have seen most of the time so people will convert everything into the two lower and from this two lower they will check like this so if i put the output as a a you will get we are getting this 16 what we are doing is first we are converting this entire string into lower cases by using this two lower method and from this two lower method we are using this index of method and again we will put everything in the lower case over here if we are having a dynamic value or basically a variable then also we can apply two lower over here like this and this is how i have seen people always test if a particular value exist inside another one or not but i always prefer to use this one because here we are not using this 
two lower method unnecessary. We are ultimately using only one method which is index of. So always make sure if you are searching for a string which exists inside another one or not, then always use this index of and this string comparison. Let's remove this. Now there is one more method which exists in the string class and this method is string dot contains. This index of method is returning some index values which is minus one, zero and other index but I want to check whether the text exists or not, simply true or false. So for that I can use one method which is contains. So here I'm writing this contains, this method and first let's remove this thing. The return type of this method is boolean. So here I have to type boolean or I can simply use where. Let's search this value. First I will get false because we have to deal with the case. So here we are having this n in the lower case that is why we are getting the false. If I'm using in the proper exact match then I will get the true value and this is something that I always use. If I will have a look on this contains method just right click and choose this go to definition over here you will notice that ultimately this is also using the index of method right. What it is doing is if the value of this index of method is greater than or equal to zero then we are getting true otherwise false. So ultimately this index of method is working over there but this is much more readable. I can also pass the string comparison over here. The string comparison dot invariant culture ignore case and what is this string comparison? This is basically an enum and there are multiple values over here and this works with the cultures and so many other values. You can have a look on all of them but this is something that is most widely used. If I'm having values in different cases for example this h in the caps let's update some of them as well like this so the cases are different let's run it you can see we are getting this true value contains method is very important and this is something that is used in most of the operations and this is how you can find out whether the value exists in your string or not that is all in this video thank you for watching have a great day